The Holy Land was now divided into four crusader kingdoms, Jerusalem, Antioch, Edessa and Tripoli. The whole area became known as Outremer, means overseas in French. Crusaders enjoyed new comfortable lives in the East. They discovered foods that were unknown in Europe such as lemons, olives and sugarcane. They also built a network of castles to protect themselves from Muslim attacks. It seems they have settled well in their new home, but the peace was not to last. In the 12th century, a new Seljuk commander named Imaduddin Zengi came to power and began to unite the rival Muslim tribes. He started marching north from Syria and in 1144 he captured Edessa. In response, another crusade set out from Europe, but it was a disaster as most of the crusaders died before reaching the Holy Land and those who survived were easily defeated by Zengi's successor, Nuruddin. When Nuruddin died in 1174, he was replaced by an even greater military commander, Salahuddin Ayubi, known to the crusaders as Saladin. Salahuddin had been Nuruddin's chief minister of Egypt where he had gained a reputation of kindness and intelligence. In 1187, he marched into the kingdom of Jerusalem and captured the crusader town of Tiberias. As the new king of Jerusalem learned of the invasion, he gathered his troops and led them against Salahuddin. By the time they reached a hilltop close to a town named Hatim, the crusader army was surrounded the crusaders were outnumbered and in that battle of Hatin in 1187, their entire army was destroyed. Salahuddin had dealt them a blow from which they would never recover. Over the next three months, Salahuddin captured the crusader towns such as Acre, Jaffa and Beirut. Then on October 2, 1187, the great Muslim leader reached Jerusalem. But rather than kill the Christians living there, he allowed them all to leave the city unharmed. Salahuddin wasn't interested in revenge. His dream had already been realized. Jerusalem was now in Muslim hands once more. 